Hello, welcome to my thyroid relief program website. My name is Dr. Akiba Green. I have been in private practice in Lake Norman since 2003 with over 10 years of clinical experience treating metabolic and neurological conditions. I specialize in the non-drug treatment of thyroid conditions, diabetes, fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, dizziness, migraine headaches, and other chronic pain and chronic metabolic or autoimmune conditions. My clinic, Lake Norman Health and Wellness, is the only health clinic in the Charlotte region that provides chiropractic care, spinal decompression therapy, oxygen therapy, metabolic testing, and nutritional management for chronic conditions and brain-based therapy under one roof. I have personally trained with Dr. Michael L. Johnson, the author of the alternative medicine bestseller, What Do You Do When the Medications Don't Work? a non-drug treatment of dizziness, migraine headaches, fibromyalgia, and other chronic conditions, and Dr. Datis Karazian, the author of the revolutionary breakthrough book, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When All My Lab Tests Are Normal. I want to welcome you to my Thyroid Recovery Program website. On this website, you will find a lot of info on who we are and how our office is unique compared to every other doctor you have been to. One of the reasons why my office is so unique is that I've embarked on a very intensive course of study in order to gather the newest information on treatment options. And just so you know, all this research and information comes straight from the medical and scientific literature. Like I mentioned, I've learned directly from the experts who are on the leading edge of thyroid care and treat the hardest chronic conditions in the world. If your doctor hasn't studied this information, and I can tell you firsthand that it takes a tremendous amount of time and money in order to learn, he, she is probably still practicing the same old standard of care that was taught in school 30, 40, even 50 years ago. This is just a short introductory video for you. So if you or a loved one is suffering from a thyroid condition, especially low thyroid or hypothyroid symptoms, and I know how frustrating that can be, this video has new information for you to help get the care you want. When we talk about thyroid symptoms, the list can be quite long. And oftentimes we talk about low thyroid, but a lot of times hyperthyroid or even autoimmune thyroid problems can be very similar. Primarily, what I'm talking about include fatigue, increase in weight gain, even with a low-calorie diet, morning headaches that wear off as the day progresses, depression, constipation, overly sensitive to cold weather, poor circulation and numbness in the hands or feet, uh, muscle cramps while at rest. Uh, you often catch colds or infections easily, but it takes you a long time to recover from them. Wounds heal slowly. You require excessive amounts of sleep to uh, function properly. Chronic digestive problems. Uh, one of these things could be called leaky gut syndrome or hypochloridria. Itchy dry skin. Dry or brittle hair or hair that falls out easily. Edema, especially in the face, a tissue swelling. Uh, also loss of the outside portion of the eyebrows, the lateral one third especially. Suffering with any of these symptoms is frustrating to say the least. The problem is the only solution that medical doctors have found for you or do you have been told about is hormone replacement therapy. Hormone replacement medication is not always the best answer for your problems. As a matter of fact, if you are exploring this website here, you've probably already been given medications and you still feel lousy. You're mad, you're frustrated, and you're searching for a better solution. There is something else out there. I'm here to tell you that this conventional medical model that's all they have to offer you. And by the way, that hormone replacement ch therapy, that treatment hasn't changed since 1950. For over 50 years, they've been treating you exactly the same. The hormones they give you are meant to slow down or burn out your thyroid gland. It's a hormone roller coaster. You may feel pretty good for a few months and then your levels end up changing or it wears off. Most people when they're on thyroid hormone, and if you're on this website, this probably means you, aren't doing as well as they'd like to be. Now this hormone roller coaster, it never ends, and it's a pretty steep drop off at the end. We offer something different in our office. We explore your thyroid thoroughly. For example, you need to know that all thyroid function starts in your brain with your pituitary being told to stimulate your thyroid gland properly. A couple basics on your thyroid function. This pituitary gland makes something called TSH. You've probably heard of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. It's what actually tells the thyroid gland to produce the thyroid hormone. Now our thyroid gland produces two types of thyroid hormones, T4 and T3. This is important because 93% of what the thyroid gland makes is T4. Only 7% is T3. Now what this actually means is, is the majority of what our thyroid gland makes is T4, 
it actually isn't even usable by the body. T4 is a non-usable form of the thyroid hormone. So it has to go somewhere before it can actually work. So these hormones, T4, T3, they hitch a ride on, on something called thyroid binding globulin. I call it a taxi cab. And they go down to different parts of the body. What we're talking about are the liver, the gut, other tissues where T4 converts into T3. Once T3 is made, it then goes into the actual cells where thyroid actually has an effect on the body. So this is important because you know, almost every type of metabolic function in your body is supported by the thyroid gland. In fact, every cell in your body has thyroid receptors. What we're talking about is the thyroid gland helps support bone metabolism so you don't get osteoporosis. It helps support your immune system so you stay healthy and don't get sick. It helps support your brain or your nervous system. It helps support your endocrine system. This is pretty much everything else, including your adrenal glands, your ovaries, your testes, your pancreas, and other glands. It helps support proper gastrointestinal function, liver and gallbladder function, growth and sex hormones, proper fat burning, insulin and glucose metabolism for good blood sugar, healthy cholesterol levels, and proper stomach acid. So once again, every cell in your body has thyroid receptors. This is important because not only does the thyroid affect everything, but everything actually affects the thyroid as well. We call it thyroid crosstalk. What that means is the thyroid affects the immune system, but the immune system has a very big effect on the thyroid as well. The gut actually affects the thyroid. The brain affects the thyroid. The liver affects the thyroid. The endocrine system also affects the thyroid. So each affects the other. When we're talking about thyroid dysfunction, this really helps indicate you know, that there's a much bigger issue than just what the thyroid is doing. I go into this in much more detail in my long form DVD and also our in-office thyroid workshops which we hold. Basically, we need to know what mechanisms are working and what mechanisms are not working and causing your thyroid symptoms. And it may be a lot more detailed than just the pituitary or the thyroid gland itself. In fact, patients come in and tell me all the time, Dr. Green, my doctor said all my lab tests were normal, but I still feel lousy. This is very common for a couple main reasons. First and foremost, most doctors don't order the right tests. Most doctors order a TSH test, and if you're lucky, they'll also look at total T4 or free T4. Compare this to a true thyroid functional test. There are actually up to 11 thyroid tests that we order. TSH, which is a conventionally ordered test, total T4, free T4, but also free thyroxine index. That's how much T4 is available. T3 uptake, it's how much T3 is getting into the cells. Free T3, that's the active thyroid hormone. It's a very important marker. Reverse T3, and also our thyroid antibodies, TPO and TBG antibodies. Those point towards something called Hashimoto's disease and TSH antibodies. Those point towards Graves' disease. Now, I look at 11 different tests. How can you manage your health without all the information? To manage your health, you need to look at the causes of the problem, not just the symptoms. Managing symptoms with hormones doesn't get to the cause of the problem. It's that simple. The second major reason why patients oftentimes have symptoms, but the doctors don't do anything about it, is most doctors don't understand the difference between lab ranges and functional optimal ranges. What we're talking about is, you know, I use uh, several labs for my patients, LabCorp, uh, Quest, Spectrum, there's a bunch in the area. When I send those labs out, I get results back, just like uh, your doctors, other doctors do, that show a reference range. Now this reference range is actually not accurate. It's a bell curve, basically the labs use this range based on who comes to their office, who gets the blood work done. They are statistical analysis of everyone who's had a test done. So if we talk about who normally goes to the labs, we could be talking about you know somebody going every two or four weeks if they're sick. Well, those statistics are going to skew the lab results toward a pathological value. It's based on unhealthy people. In my practice and in the study of functional medicine, I utilize functional lab values which are more sensitive. They help me reveal problems before they're seen on traditional labs. A good example would be TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. LabCorp tells me, and most of your doctors, that the normal range is 0.45 to 4.5. Compare this to a functional reference range, which has been established in the literature, of 1.8 to 3.0. 
So m my question is, who wants to be so far deep into the disease process that you've got all these signs and symptoms, and they do nothing about it because the labs don't show sick enough to treat you? I'm here to tell you that there is something that can be done about it, and it can be done completely naturally. Who wouldn't want to have that solution? A natural solution. In my office, we look at the thyroid from a functional perspective, which means looking at you as a whole person, not through a tunnel vision of one, maybe two lab findings. I need to know how the whole system works. You know, it's not just black and white or a simple process to evaluate a thyroid pathology or different pathways. It's much more complex and delicate than that, and very few doctors understand how this mechanism works. I've spent a lot of time, energy, and resources to develop a solution to your thyroid problems using both neurological and metabolic treatments. This approach is further described in the long-form DVD, uh, also my free report or workshops to get to the true cause of why you have your thyroid symptoms. Now, I'm going to talk to you for a minute about, about another condition. Um, we talk about Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. Now, if you've been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, or Graves' disease, which is uh, a hyperthyroid problem. Hashimoto's is a hypothyroid. These are really not thyroid problems, though. They're actually autoimmune problems. What's going on is your immune system is mistakenly attacking either your thyroid gland or TSH. And so they're immune problems. There's an imbalance in your immune system that needs to be addressed. And quite, quite frankly, a lot of times, Hashimoto's or Graves' aren't even really thyroid issues. It's other stuff that's causing the problem. And yeah, the thyroid is getting attacked, but that's not the cause of the problem. This is why medications are constantly being adjusted. Because when somebody only treats based on incomplete information, the immune system isn't being really looked at, and your TSH levels, they're going to fluctuate. The immune system is fluctuating, and it's the immune system causing the problem, not the thyroid. In fact, according to the Endocrine Society, now the Endocrine Society consists of 14,000 endocrinologists. These are your thyroid doctors. Their journal, the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolic Disorders, in 1998, you know, 13 years ago, had a really, really good research article that was published that has been supported and even reinforced ever since. 80% of all people being diagnosed with hypothyroidism are actually autoimmune cases. Think about this. 80% of hypothyroid is autoimmune Hashimoto's. Yet, the vast majority of treatment that you get for hypothyroidism is to be put on hormone replacement. No indication of your immune system getting fixed at all. If this is the case, and it really truly is, according to not just what, what the literature shows, but what I see every day in my practice, you need proper testing to determine what the triggers of your immune system are and how you can stop those triggers and prevent further destruction. We need to fix the immune system to fix your thyroid. Our thyroid program has been very successful. And people who haven't responded to hormone replacement or current treatment most likely are autoimmune and can be helped by our approach. Now, I've treated many people with these conditions, and the bottom line is there is help, and there are solutions for you. The only thing we need to do is for me to meet with you, to do a full case review, get a better understanding of what you're going through, get a better handle on your condition, what you've already done treatment-wise. Do a neurological examination, looking at your brain, looking at different parts of your body and see how things are working. Review old labs that you've had done in a full case review. This helps me find out what still needs to be explored in order to get you the true health that you have been looking for. And if I believe I can help you, I will let you know what recommendations I can make to help heal your condition once and for all. There are other sections on this website for you to explore, so feel free to do that. On the bottom of the page, there's a fill-in form for you to request either a free report or a full-length DVD. Also on that area is a place for your phone number. If you fill that out, it will signal my staff that you want to come in right away. We usually have a two to three week waiting list, but this will let them know you are interested in coming in right now to secure your thyroid case review. Feel free to fill that out. This is just an option we give people who are very anxious and are ready to come in right away and find out if we have the solution to their health problems. So feel free to check out the rest of the website and look at how this website was specifically designed for your chronic condition. Again, I'm Dr. Akiba Green. I hope this video has been informative for you and I hope to meet with you soon because if you want to get back to having true health, there is help out there for you. There is a better solution and that hope is just around the corner. Thank you.